Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show some ways that I clean up the interface for GameMaker Studio 2. Now I will note right away that these are very subjective suggestions. Um, you are totally free to disagree with me on these things and to think they're just completely bonkers or whatever, sure. Um, and uh, I'd like you guys to uh, share even your comments of what you guys do to improve your time in GameMaker Studio 2 because I am actually always looking for better ways to do things in it. Uh, GameMaker Studio 2 is definitely an improvement over the first GameMaker Studio, but um, I have still found myself wrestling uh, with the IDE in some ways and trying to get rid of clutter and make more usable space and all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, and also note, before I show some of these things, um, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution here. If you're using a lower or higher resolution, you'll probably need to adapt accordingly to your needs. So anyway, with that said, uh, let's jump into some of these things that I'd like to show you guys today. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to this object thing that I have here, and I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to open up the create event. And as you can see, connecting these windows between here is this little... Uh, line segment here that we see around even here and also in the room editor and stuff like that. Now this is supposed, I guess, to help people visually understand what's going on, but I personally find these for the most part useless and I don't find that they help me. In fact, I find that they actually just take up horizontal space that could be used for other more important things. So that's the first thing we're going to do is just get rid of these. So to do that, it's very simple. We're going to go to File, Preferences, General Settings, workspace and we're going to change workspace chain column padding and workspace chain row padding to zero each and we're also going to change workspace chain rendering segment to one i would change it to zero except that uh, one is the minimum allowed here so with that i'm going to hit apply and we'll see here that it removed the space here but there's still this link here uh, to fix that i'm going to actually close object thing and open it back up and then now the setting has applied uh, but you can still kind of see this uh, little dot colored here, this green left over from the chain link color. To kind of hide it, we can pick a color that more blends into the background of what we use in GameMaker Studio 2. So I'm going to click this dark gray and press OK and hit apply. And now that chain link thing is as good as gone. We can't see it anymore, which is great. Which is which means that we can now make a more use of the vertical, I'm sorry, of the horizontal space here. Um, and to do that, we're actually going to by default have this text editor window actually open up even further here. So I'm going to go to File, Preferences, and go to Text Editors, and I'm going to change this default code window width. I'm going to change it, in this case, to 975. Now note that if you're using a smaller resolution, you probably don't want to make this any bigger. But if you're using a higher resolution monitor, you'll probably want to make this even higher. So for now, I'm going to change it to 975, hit Apply. And if I just close this down, completely. I'm just going to pretend like it's opening for the first time. Hit a create event. And now we can see that it's now using more of the space and it just gives us more breathing room to um, work in the text editor and have, you know, this is just helpful. And we still got plenty of like nice space between here to prevent stuff from overlapping and that kind of thing. So that's great. We've done two things already to just have more horizontal space here and less clutter. It's great. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how you guys already know is that when you press play here, the uh, output and search results, all this stuff, this window down here automatically pops up. Even if we minimize it, if I play the game again, it just has it pop every time. And this is taking up more of the space down here. And every time we come out of the game, we have to close it again if we want this space uh, visible again which typically I do. I like having my vertical space available. So there's a really nice setting that we can change really quickly. Again, going to preferences. This time we are going to click on general settings, compiling, and we are going to deselect this option called show the compile window during compilation. So let's just deselect that. Hit apply. Okay. And now when I run my game, it no longer pops this up. We can still see that it's building up here, but it's no longer cluttering that up. And if we do want it, we can always cl click it back open when we want to. But GameMaker is no longer forcing it open all the time, which is great. So at this point, we now have more usable horizontal space and more usable vertical space. Fantastic. All right, so here's another trick that I like to do. This might be the one that you guys find very subjective and you may not agree with. But to show you, I'm going to open up a room. And when we open the room, we get this room editor window over here, which is great. This is fine. When we are in a room, it's okay to have both these open. I'm okay with that. 
But the thing that kind of bothers me is if I go back to the workspace, this stays open. And it's not really relevant to what we're doing. And it's just kind of cluttered stuff up. I, I don't need this. Um, I mean, one way to close it is if you close room one, it'll get rid of it. But if you have other rooms open still, it will keep that tab still open. Uh, I don't like this. So one thing that I do is I just take the room editor tab and I put it in with the assets tab over there. Which this is kind of really cool because now if I go to workspace, it automatically switches it to the assets tab. And if I go back to the room, it automatically goes back to the room editor tab. And there's no clunkiness over here. Everything stays consistent and clean, which is great. Now there is one trade off with this. If I, for example, if I want to put more objects in this room, I would have to like click on the instances layer here and then click on the assets tab and then like drag this guy in here. And I'm kind of losing the connection of seeing both things at once, the room editor and the assets tab. But usually it's not a problem. And I actually find this kind of a fair trade off uh, for the otherwise clunkiness of, yeah. So anyhow, that's one more thing that I do, which I just find one more thing to clean it up. Uh, the next one, a little thing that I do, is I might uh, in the assets tree here is again if you guys have like bad vision don't do this um, but if you have normal 2020 vision like me this should be fine I like to do things like this I'll just drop the um, down here you can see it it's at 100 percent the uh, scaling for the uh, asset tree we could just drop this to say like 90 percent just gives us a bit more breathing room if you have lots of stuff going on so you don't have to like scroll as much or if you got a lot of stuff a lot of groups and things and you're dealing with like horizontal stuff as well just one more way to keep it clean. I wouldn't suggest going below like 85% or that. I like to keep it between, yeah, 85% and 100%. Um, but for now, I'm gonna keep it at 90%. And that's just one more little thing that I do. Um, you do not have to agree with me on that one at all, but it's just something I do. And, and likewise, if we had some code like this and while x equals 100, you know, do some stuff and so forth. Say that I had a bunch of code. Uh, one thing I like to do is by uh, default is just probably drop the font size that we use by one. Here in Game Maker Studio 2, we can use the F7 and F8 to change our font size. And the one thing I like to do is just change it from the default down one smaller so that we get, again, more horizontal and vertical space. It's just more condensed. and But you want to make sure you keep it something that's readable. We don't want to go too small. But as long as your vision is comfortable with it and you're good, um, this is just one way to uh, just keep things cleaner and more condensed and uh, so we're not having to scroll horizontally or vertically as much um, as before. Anyhow, that's, that's it. That's just a few of the things that I do to clean up the interface. These are nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Um, it's just really simple things. Uh, with a, a last note, there's just one thing that I would like to share this is optional. This has nothing to do with actual suggestion for what you guys should do. But this is actually uh, something that I hope is changed in a future version of Game Maker Studio 2. I would really like to see this events menu actually pushed into here, uh, where you click on this and it would actually open this in here instead. And I would prefer if these uh, other menus became floating menus over top, like the parents and the physics, because we don't actually need these open all the time. I mean, maybe some people do, but I find that I, I have these open hardly ever. And when I'm done with them, I just close them. Now, the biggest complaint I have is, or concern I have here is with variable definitions. If I click on this, this is the worst culprit. It completely changes the whole width of the events window here and just completely just shifts everything. This isn't great. And even if I close it, it leaves it like that. I have to go back and close it again to clean it up to as it was before. And it's actually just, yeah, it's now messed up my nice workflow. So that's just one thing. As a side note, if any Yo-Yo Games developer is watching this, that would be cool. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you found this useful, like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Um, feel free to check out some of my other videos and uh, that I've been doing on Game Maker Studio 2.3 and such. Anyhow, until next time, guys, I hope you have an awesome, wonderful day. Bye for now.